Kleistron on the Nines forecast featuring Kleistron 9. It's just about half past the hour. Good morning and thank you for joining us here for Weather on the Nines. I'm meteorologist Josh Linker. Chilly out there this morning and we'll warm up a little bit today, but temperatures will still be quite a bit below average. We'll be in the low and some mid 60s out there, but lots of sunshine. So another pretty looking day out there. Now, if you have beach plans today, the sun will be out, but it'll be on the cool side for sure and a little bit breezy. North northwest wind at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. The water temperature at 58 degrees. We're going to keep it cool for a while, although we'll have a slight warming trend to talk about. I'll have those details with weather on the net. Now, your weather on the nice forecast featuring Kleistron 9. Good morning. I'm meteorologist Josh Linker. Thanks for joining us here for Weather on the Nines on this Valentine's Day. We've had some chilly temperatures out there this morning, and we'll warm up a little bit as we go through the day, but lots of sunshine in our future as we take a look outside from our early morning Sky 9 network camera shots around the area showing clear conditions across the region. Our camera downtown Tampa, Curtis Hickson Park, brought to you by Ackerman Jewelers. You see the setup underway for the bourbon, beer, and barbecue going on there for today. Temperature should be nice in the low 60s today. And our view from Madeira Beach showing a nice looking scene, but it is chilly out there this morning with a clear sky overhead. Now here's the satellite imagery. We're talking about clear conditions. A few high clouds down to the south, but will remain sunny for today. And a look at the water vapor satellite imagery is showing that there's going to be another little push of drier air that's indicated in red here. There's just this large area of cold conditions across the eastern United States, and we're seeing another little piece in the upper levels of the atmosphere pull in. That's going to turn into a big storm off the New England coast for later tonight. Temperatures today will warm into the low 60s. We'll start to back off to around 58 at 5 o'clock, 53 at 10 o'clock. And notice tomorrow morning, not as cold. A west wind will come in, and that will keep us just a little bit milder by tomorrow morning. And then we'll get cold again heading into Monday morning. A look at travel weather now showing just a few spotty snow showers here across the Midwest and the Great Lakes. This will turn into a low pressure area off the East Coast, and we can see this on our computer model forecast here. Watch the load develop up in here, and there'll be some heavy snow around Boston up through Maine, and then the Canadian Maritimes will also get some very heavy snow. Boston, by the way, could pick up another foot of snow by tomorrow. So here's a look at the highs today, Boston 28, 37, New York City, and you can see that next round of colder air coming in with highs in the single digits across the upper Midwest and parts of the northern plains. Warm, though, in Texas for today. Now, I'm going to be back with your seven-day forecast. We'll talk about warmer air and colder air. That's coming up in less than 10 minutes. But first, here's another look at Kleistra 9. forecast featuring Kleistron 9. Good morning. I'm meteorologist Josh Linker. Thank you for joining us here for Weather on the Nines. Kind of chilly out there this morning. Some of us have been below freezing, but we'll warm up a little bit as we go through the day. More sunshine on the way for us today, but it'll be cool sunshine, and we'll see a little bit of warming coming up for tomorrow, heading into Monday, and then another front will come in, and that'll bring us more cold weather by later in the week. I'll show you that seven day forecast in just a moment. But right now, a fairly benign but chilly weather pattern is in place around our area right now. And we have a, another cold front that is well up to the north. This one is going to quickly move through and that will just reinforce the dry air that is in place. So it's not going to get any colder tomorrow into tomorrow night behind that next front. Now what we're going to see here is the wind direction becoming westerly. And that's important for tonight because that will mean uh, temperatures won't be quite as cold. The west wind will be in place, and then tomorrow the wind will come in again from the north, but we'll have lots of sunshine and really just a dry air mass. Should be another nice looking day. It'll just be cooler than average, although tomorrow will be a little bit warmer than today. And today we won't warm up a whole lot. It looks like low to mid 60s around the area, but lots of sunshine expected for us. Keep in mind that average high temperature this time of year should be in the low and even mid 70s. So we're running about 10 to 12 degrees below average. If you have boating plans today, there'll be sunshine out there. It'll be on the cool side, a little bit of a breeze. And we'll see the north to northwest wind becoming westerly by late in the day, 10 to 15 knots. The seas will be up at 2 to 4 feet, and we'll have a moderate chop today on Tampa Bay and the other inland waters. All right, we'll take a look at your seven day forecast, and we'll see a little bit of a warming trend up to 69 for tomorrow. A cool one Monday morning at 44, 72. Should be a nice day on Monday. 
couple of clouds later in the day. Then Tuesday, we warm to 73, a warm wind coming in from the south out ahead of our next front, which will give us a rain chance, even some storms Tuesday night into early Wednesday. And then it turns cold again, 57 on Wednesday. Thursday and Friday mornings, cold, freezing in our colder spots. And we'll see high temperatures only in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees by then. That's your seven-day forecast. Another check of the weather is coming up at the top of the hour. But first, here's another look at Kleistron 9. Good Saturday morning to you and welcome to Bay News 9 this weekend. Good to have you with us this Valentine's. I'm Holly Gregory. We want to start off the 9 o'clock hour here in the Weather Center and join meteorologist Josh Linker. And it's a chilly start to this Valentine's Day, Josh. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of cuddling going on this morning, Holly. We have temperatures <laughs> that have been below freezing in some spots, but we're starting to warm things up a little bit now. So there's some more respectable levels certainly on the way today. Still below average, though, by later on. But Inverness, you're at 39. You were at 30 this morning. Wiki Wachi, you've warmed to 42. It is 48 now in Tampa, 48 at Winter Haven, St. Petersburg at 50 degrees. And as we look at the satellite imagery right now, clear skies, a lot of dry air in place. We will have a lot of sunshine out there today. Temperatures will be about 10 to 12 degrees below average this afternoon with highs in the low to mid 60s. A little bit warmer for us tomorrow. And then another cold front on the way. We'll talk more about that coming up with Weather on the Nines. In the meantime, Holly, we'll send it back to you. Well, at least we'll have lots of sunshine. All right, Josh, thanks. We'll check back. Yeah, the waterfront down there looking beautiful this morning. All right, thank you, Ashley. So let's find out uh, how that weather is shaping up. Josh, it, it looks gorgeous out there, but definitely not too warm. No, but it is starting to warm up, Good. Holly. We, we have had some very cold temperatures this morning. And in St. Petersburg, we'll be talking about highs around 60 or so. So uh, not too bad. Definitely colder than average, but a nice day nonetheless. Now, take a look at this shot we got sent to us from Spring Hill. This was from Stephanie scraping the temperature on her windshield, it looks like. A little bit frosty there this morning. A great shot, thank you very much, sent to us using the Bay News 9 Plus app this morning, where it was about 30 degrees at Spring Hill this morning. We did have quite a few reports of the 20s in parts of Citrus County this morning. Here's our view from Bradenton. Bright, sunny skies out there this morning. 48 degrees, humidity 61%. The wind is coming in from the east northeast at 8. And in downtown Tampa, the Bourbon beer and barbecue going on at Curtis Hickson Park. That starts a little bit later today. They're setting up here our view at Curtis Hickson Park, brought to you by Ackerman Jewelers. A nice looking shot out there this morning with sunshine, but it is chilly 48 degrees, humidity 54%, and the wind is out of the northeast at five miles per hour. So we look at the other temperatures now, and it's still 41. Crystal River Inverness at 43, but we don't have any more 20s showing up. Still 38. At Beverly Hills, 42 now in Floral City. In Hillsborough County, we're at 48 degrees. In Tampa, 40 at Temple Terrace. You were down to 33 this morning. It was also 33 earlier in Thanona Sassa. Polk County, 48 at Winter Haven at the moment. And it is 48 degrees at Lakewood Ranch. Clear skies overhead now. We look at the satellite imagery, and we're not expecting really any clouds today. Very, very dry air mass in place. And as a result of no clouds, we are not looking at rain. Our next rain chance, by the way, will come up sometime later on Tuesday with another cold front that will be on the way. So the forecast for today is really nice looking anyway. Lots of sunshine. It is still going to be a little bit breezy at times and on the cool side with our high of 62. The average high this time of year about 72 to 75 across the area. Partly cloudy. Not as cold overnight down to 49. A few spots will still manage the upper 30s. And more sunshine a little bit warmer tomorrow. The high of 69. Now we do have another cold front in the seven day. I'll have those details coming up in less than 10 minutes. But first here is another look at Kleistron 9. forecast featuring Kleistron 9. Good morning and thank you for joining us here for Weather on the Nines. I'm meteorologist Josh Linker and it's been kind of chilly out there and that is going to continue but we will enjoy lots more sunshine over the next couple of days and if you have boating plans today still a little bit breezy north to northwest wind at 10 to 15 knots we will have lots of sunshine and the air temperatures will be on the cool side the seas up at two to four feet and a moderate chop is expected today on the inland waters around tampa bay and the sun coast on this valentine's day sunshine and cool north to northwest wind at 10 to 15 knots and we'll go with a moderate chop today 
on Tampa Bay and the other inland waters. Well, it's chilly out there this morning. We've had some lows that have managed to sneak down into the 20s. High pressure out to the west of us is still allowing a north component to the wind to be in place, but we have a lot of dry air around. Now, there's going to be another front that's going to come through tomorrow. You're not even going to really notice this because the air behind it is really just a reinforcing shot of the dry conditions that we have in place. So that'll make for a cool morning on Monday morning. But other than that, not a whole lot of change showing up with this next front. And we'll actually see some warming weather coming up for the early part of the week as the next area of high pressure shifts to the east and allows our winds to come in from the east. But that warming will be short-lived because another front will be on the way for the middle of the week, and that's when we'll cool down. I'll show you all the ups and downs in the seven-day forecast in just a moment. Lots of sunshine in the meantime today on the cool side. A north wind will become northwesterly as we head into the late part of the day, and that'll tend to keep us just another degree or two cooler right along the immediate coastline today. County by county we go, and we'll enjoy lots of sunshine, but it is going to be about 10 to 12 degrees below average today. About 60 to 62 should do it for you in Citrus and Hernando counties. Lots of sunshine in Pasco County, 63 West Lee Chapel, Dade City at 62 for your high temperature. In Polk County, 64, 65. Overall, not a bad day today. It's just kind of chilly out there this morning. We'll enjoy lots of sunshine in Manatee County with lower 60s closer to the coast, but we'll manage to jump to 65 this afternoon in Lakewood Ranch. Temperatures in Pinellas County will be on the cool side with highs around 60 to 61. And finally, in Hillsborough County, we'll see our temperatures today up around 62 to 65 with lots more sunshine expected. Your seven day forecast will reveal more sunny weather for tomorrow, but up to 69 degrees. And look at that on Monday, 72. We may need to add a cloud to the forecast for late in the day on Monday. And our next system comes in Tuesday into Wednesday, sometime late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. We'll see a good chance for showers and thunderstorms. But then look at Wednesday's high, just 57. A freeze possible Thursday morning, but the sun will be out to close the week. Thursday and Friday, high temperatures around 60 degrees. That's your seven-day forecast. Here's the latest pollen forecast for the next three days, and it is brought to you by Famous Tate Appliance and Bedding Centers. It's time now for the latest from Kleistron 9. Now, your weather on the 9's forecast featuring Kleistron 9. It's just about half past the hour. Good morning, and thank you for joining us here for Weather on the Nines. I'm meteorologist Josh Linker. Chilly out there this morning, and we'll warm up a little bit today, but temperatures will still be quite a bit below average. We'll be in the low and some mid 60s out there, but lots of sunshine. So, another pretty looking day out there. Now, if you have beach plans today, the sun will be out, but it'll be on the cool side for sure and a little bit breezy. North northwest wind at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. The water temperature at 58 degrees. We're going to keep it cool for a while, although we'll have a slight warming trend to talk about. I'll have those details with weather on the night.